Hello everybody, welcome to the Flecka Squad. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, comment, like, and share. And if you guys are not new to my channel, hello guys. I love you guys so much for every time I post a video. You guys always come to see me. Um, I have a lot of requests of this. Um, you guys are asking me where am I from. I am from Venezuela. I was born in Venezuela and came here when I was uh, five. Four or five, I really don't remember that much. I gotta ask my mom about that, but it was around that time. And I just need to let you guys know. Well, um, you guys ask me what food, what is my favorite food from my country? Um, and if you guys don't know, there's a lot of things going on in Venezuela, so let's get on with the video. I'll show you guys what I'm going to make, what I'm going to be eating, and what is up right now, okay? So let's get ready with the video. Before I start, hello everyone, yay! Um, I totally forgot the main ingredient, which it was harina pan, which is a pre-baked cornmeal, okay? White cornmeal. And two and a half cups of water, okay? You can put more, you can put less, whatever. It's up to you, it's your preference, whatever. So, I have this. If you guys know, and you guys are not new to my channel, you guys do know that I make hot pots and stir fry and i use my i don't know what it is i use this stir fry deep fry hot pot i use it it's pre-cooking it has i think six cups of oil vegetable oil you can use peanut oil you can use regular oil you can use olive oil coconut oil 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 whatever oil you want and let me know what kind of oil you use because maybe i can try it okay so first I'm gonna make the tuna, yes. I don't eat a lot of tuna, but the baby daddy wants tuna, so we have to give it to him. So I need four cans of tuna. You don't have to have four ounces of tuna. You could have two, I mean, two cups of tuna. If this isn't water, you could do oil. I do water, I like water best. I don't know why, I just do, just, you know, whatever. Um, I forgot to have a container to strain the water because I hate it. So I'm going to open the can of tuna and I'm going to go strain it over there. Okay, you could just open it like this later. And by the way, when I'm done, I'm going to eat this, um, this meal, the Flecka style way. So you guys know already. So I got a clear container so you guys can see everything. So yeah, this is a frugal dish. Uh, what is frugal? Like a cheap dish, okay? This is like the cheapest thing that people, when they didn't have money for, let's say beef, which everybody likes beef. Not all of us, but we like it. I mean, not all of us, but a lot of people like beef. They will get tuna. Tuna is the next source of, you know, cheap and chicken. But a lot of people didn't have the money so they had tuna. So I do not like tuna. I hate tuna. I hate, I don't really eat a lot of fish. I just, I don't, I'm a very picky eater now and I know super picky. So we're gonna put four cans. I put usually do three but because I think I'm gonna have some it's really salty. And I'm telling you, I need to cut down on the salt because my hands really get swollen. Um, comment down below and let me know why your hands usually get swollen. I don't know, beats me. But I think it's the salt, all the container of salt. I usually don't have a lot of salt, but when I do, I wake up like a balloon. Okay, so four cans of tuna. Let's throw this out because it smells horrendous, okay? Hor Fresh cracked pepper. And this pepper is, is really like, this one is really bougie. Um, it's organic. It's like a weird Thailand pepper, corn. I don't know where the baby daddy got it. So thank you, baby daddy. It's really good. So we have the four cans of tuna, right? I like to do this. I like to, oh, I put it on the side 
and I would like to squeeze um, the line heating up my oil because in order for you to have really good really good arepas crisp because they're really crispy because I'm doing fry usually I make bake them but I don't want to so we're frying them so I do half of lime just a little bit it's so good I know you can't have that but I love it so I put half a lime just to marinate just a little bit because we're gonna put some mayo you put vegan mayo you could put regular mayo you put olive oil mayo you know but I like mayo I love mayo we put two three three spoons of mayo you could put more you could put less you could put nothing my daughter eats it with um, salt a little bit of pepper and oil that's about it but I guess today she's gonna eat it like this so I let it marinate a little bit like that with half a lime it's not actually good and then I will put a little bit of salt on top to like make it like a little bit salty and these are fine not you know coarse they're fine so I put it on the side while this is you know becoming beautiful okay let's move this on the side oh okay so I'm gonna cover the mayo because it's egg hello so I'm gonna cut or chop a uh, half an onion onion is the best flavor and the other thing that is the best flavor is cilantro. If you don't have cilantro in a tuna, hello. It's not a tuna, okay? Because I guess Spanish people like cilantro like they like their rice. Like, you know, we like cilantro like Chinese people like rice. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think so. That's what it is because I know they eat rice with everything. So actually we're like... Asians because you know so I'm just gonna cut a little bit because I know my daughter's gonna eat and I want her to eat some veggies so I will hide it and then I will guys another thing if you guys suffer from your stomach and let's say and you eat stuff that everything hurts your stomach that you can't go to the bathroom you know we're adults here okay let's let's face it um you have to have fresh fruits, okay? Fresh fruits and veggies. Let's say when you go to the supermarket, if you open an onion, like this is bad, okay? This is what I'm talking about. I usually don't do this, but I went to, I, I had a barbecue. So we're chopping, roughly chopping, and make it very tiny. So we're just chopping. Just to make it little. If you guys are having stomach and all that stuff, you guys need to, if you guys cut an onion, okay? So you're cutting an onion, half of the onion, don't save it, okay? I did this, it's my mistake. I was um, doing a barbecue and I put it away. No, I usually cut it if I can't use it, I just, I throw it. Why? Because once it has oxygen, the onion, it just, becomes a bacteria okay you don't see it but you'll feel it in your stomach so a lot of people that suffer from their ig you know they have ig irritable bowel syndrome and stuff like that you're supposed to have fresh you know fresh veggies and fruits you're not supposed to have all safe everything has to be fully fresh okay and i noticed that it doesn't happen to me, but it happens to a lot of a lot of people. A lot of people don't have that problem with their stomach, but some people do have it. So it's just it's better to be safe than sorry. So when you use some onions, either use the whole thing or just discard it. That'll be the best thing. Oh, I'm crying. Listen, if you don't cry when you cut an onion, you, you have no heart, no no tear, no, I don't know. But especially the red onions. Okay. So, you put 
a lot of onion. Even if you're crying, cry it off, take it out, take it in, breathe it in. Okay, so very finely chopped. You don't have to use a beet meat cleaver, but like I'm obsessed with it, so I'll use it with anything. But I have like over 40 knives in my house, so hello. I think I'm not the best cook, but if I have a really good sharp knife, oh my goodness, I become like Chef Batali or something. Okay, so. Oh. Very rough chop. You could put garlic, you could put um, rosemary. I never put rosemary, but it sounds pretty good. Thyme, scallions. A lot of people don't like stuff like that, but you have to like. Avocado, you can put an avocado and you can make us like a sandwich. Oh my goodness, so good. Okay, so it's finely chopped. The only thing, I, the, the, this is why I like the meat cleaver because it chops me when I did It's like a scooper. Look at that, it's beautiful. Mm hmm. Hope you guys see it. Let me put it right here. Let's get rid of that. And we're gonna evenly. I have napkins here. Ooh, I'm crying, I'm crying. I don't know why I have napkins. I don't even use them. Okay, so. The trick about having sharp knives, well, taking care of sharp knives, is that as soon as you use them, you have to, like, dry them. I don't know, it's just a stain. So, Obviously, I'm going to discard everything that I don't need. I hate onions on my table because it smells disgusting, but what can we do? Woo! I cried a little bit today, so it's okay. Okay, so we put the onions, right? And then we're going to do the same thing we did. We're going to put a little bit of salt. Remember, this salt is not that salty, so whatever. I'm gonna, I could see it. It's... I, don't, I can see how much salt I'm putting. I'm not even putting nothing because it's really thin. They're very fine. They're not coarse. So I will cut another lime. This is the trick. I usually put it on my feet and step on a bit. Go to Victoria's room and get a hanger. Okay. So then, oh, you'll go like this. Listen, this is everything. And and again, I'm gonna dry it. I'm starving just thinking about it. My family is like having the happy moments, you know? So, okay, so the only thing I have that I don't have in my kitchen is a standing steel lemon squeezer. I need it. I need it in my life. Everything is stainless steel except this. Which I don't know why, but whatever. So we have one and a half. Cup of lime in the tuna, okay? Let's see. Mmm, I'm really good. I could put a little bit of vinegar. It's just for the citrusy. Or the, I don't know how to do it. But a little bit, just a tiny bit. The only thing that it needs is a little bit of salt. Like I said, it's very fine, nothing, it's no flavor, but you need a little bit of flavor. It has like a pinch of flavor. We need that pinch. But remember I told you, what gives it the flavor is maybe one and a half of mayo, and that should be all. And then I'm gonna put the cilantro. Everybody loves cilantro. I will, Sit it like this, and then I will put the cilantro at the end. Let's see. 
Mm, perfect. We do need cilantro. And then carbs. Black pepper corn. Bread. The thing that I do is that I sit it on the sides because I want it to be like get the juices together. I know it needs a little bit of salt, but I need it to marinate for a little bit. So before the arepas are done, then I could see how is it. So I told you guys I needed a lid with it. So I'm gonna cover it. Otherwise, if you guys are interested on my lids, I know that baby daddy hates when I lick everything, but hello, it's mine. Okay, so if you guys are interested on in my lid, the baby daddy bought it on Amazon, look at that. And I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator until I'm done, and then at the end, I'll put the cilantro. This step is really easy, okay guys? Um, you get a big bowl, and you put some salt, okay? The only thing I do is like, I'm gonna put it a little bit thick because I need salt. Okay, now we're getting salt. Make sure you wash your hands, okay guys? Because you have to use your little fingers. Um, I put two and a half cups of water. You could use more, you could use less, whatever. It's all up to you. Um, we'll put it on the side. I put some butter because the water is warm. So I'm going to need the oils because it's going to be deep fried. Okay? This is not a fully healthy. I don't have this all the time. But you can do fried egg with it. You can do tuna. If you're vegan, you can do black beans, plantain with some whole food with some vegan butter so we're gonna use our hands because everything has to be handmade all right so go like this and this is the way it works okay you have to have a, a good consistency of salt that's the flavor okay I'm gonna put butter the butter has I think this butter has salt I'm not sure let me see Uh, it doesn't have a lot of, it has 4% sodium, so let me see, I think this has salt, but I will just put some salt, okay? It's better for you to use warm water. Like I said, this um, grinder is not as really salty because it's Himalayan. Okay, it's a little salty, so let's put the butter. It's not a little salty, it's like a little bit flavor. But, you know, you need the butter warm temperature. So take it out a few minutes before you start the process, right? And put two, like two tablespoons or two spoons, whatever. If you guys don't like oil or butter or stuff like that, you don't have to put it, I think it's, best way to do it this is the way I do it a lot of people do it totally different they put eggs if you're gonna do it um, cook like baked you could put a little bit of butter eggs you could put you know just make up whatever you want okay so obviously the butter is not gonna melt so we're gonna need to use our hands then I'm gonna put a little bit of salt like I said it's not Salty at all. It doesn't have flavor. We need the flavor. The arepas come before the from the flavor, okay? I am Venezuelan and I know a lot of people do it differently, but this is the way I got taught. I saw my mom doing it and then eventually as I grew up, I made it myself. So I do whatever I want, whatever I want. You can also eat it with milk, okay? Milk and then you can put a little bit of salt on the milk. Like, it has to be whole milk. When I was young, my mom used to make deep fried arepas and I used to put cold milk, okay? Either you can put warm milk, but it like the cold with salt and a little bit of butter. Oh my goodness, you guys have to try. If you guys are Venezuelan, make sure you comment down below. Let me know how is it over there. Like I said, right now, everything is horrible over there. The people, they're just dying. Like I said, I don't know how people are surviving it over there. 
like I said, I have family members. I do have them, but everything, the worst things that happening is are in Caracas, which is the capital over there. So we're going to put, like I said, I put two and a half um, waters, two and a half cups of water. It's right here, two and a half, which is 20 ounces. Um, but I am not going to use that as my um, measurement. You have to put as much as you think it is, okay? It has to become like a pasty slash clay okay so i'm gonna put some on my hands little by little and then little by little i'm gonna massage and mix up with my fingers probably i use the whole thing you have to do it slowly because you don't want to have clumps on your masa and this is called cornmeal right but that's what it is okay so you don't want to have plums and little balls in your masa because then the food is going to be like dry in some places not fully cooked so obviously we eat this a lot here you guys could know i have this is not the actually packaging of the day come okay guys um this is the one i took it out of the package it comes in the like i don't have the picture but i'm gonna post it right here i'm, I'm gonna google it online and post it right here so you can see the packages and you can see it's called arena pan pre-cooked white cornmeal okay this is the only arena pan that you could basically make arepas with there's no other than this one this i try uh one that's called pan one that's called arena one that's called a uh, Arena cocida, nothing. This is the only one that's, you know, it's good for you. Obviously, the baby daddy has a lot of arepas, so we're gonna do the whole thing. I'm gonna have to put a little bit more water to it, but it's okay, that's not a big deal. So I'm gonna put some more water. I'm gonna put a little bit, just a tiny bit, like maybe I feel my hand and I, Little by little massage, okay? You have to use your hands, okay? Arena is supposed to be used with hands. No spatula, no, oh, it smells so good, tastes so good. No um, spoons, no, nothing, guys. You need to use your hands, okay? So far, I have uh, one and a half uh, water after. I had the other one because I'm going to make a lot of arepas. We haven't eaten this in a while. And you know that we like to eat. Flaca Squad is all about arena pan and arepas and the fried arepas with everything fried. So I think I'm going to do. No, it's fine. I think I'm going to do the whole thing. I'm going to do the whole thing because I know that whatever's left over, I hate it there, it turns disgusting, either use it. I know this is the, the lid that I could just cover it and it's fine, but I will use it because I know, I'm pretty sure the kids are gonna eat a lot, I'm gonna eat a lot, we're all gonna eat a lot, so. It should be perfectly. This will make, how many arepas? I will probably make more than 10 arepas with this. Yep, and they're going to be thin and, you know, and perfect. So I heated my, let me put it a little bit higher. I heated my, let's say, fry, right, fry dish, fry cooker. Okay, I heated my deep fry pan to 375, okay? That will be the perfect temperature. And I'm still moisturizing my hands on the arena pan. Okay. I'm still, you know, massaging softly. And we go this way, okay? We go this way. This is the way you're usually supposed to do it, okay? I left a little bit of, mm, of water because for the arena not to get stuck to you, you have to moist your hands. You don't want it to be like stuck to your hands, okay? So if it's stuck to your hand, that means arena, it's too watery. We don't want too watery. We want like a paste that I could do this and see, good. This is the right paste. And you don't need to put any more salt because hello, you're gonna put tuna, you're gonna put a uh, plantain. You're gonna, I need to try it. Oh my God. So good. 
If you guys don't like me trying the food, this is the way I am. I try everything. I lick my fingers and people eat from my food. Everybody that comes here, they know it is. So I'm going to let it rest for a little bit. I wanted to put a little bit of oil, but for what? I'm going to deep fry my food. So I'm going to wait to it perfect. The only thing that I will tell you guys is that be careful. This is very hot. You know, you're deep frying. You're not like, you cannot like, you know, you have to like gently place it. You're not going to get burned. Don't be scared. Oh my God, so good. I'm going to wash my hands and I'll be right back by doing this. So you know it's ready because as soon as I put it, it's boiling. In order to know if it's good or not, we need to have that nice color. So I'm gonna wear my hands with this, okay? So I'm gonna put it right here. Be careful, guys. Do not drip nothing in there. It's just for you guys to do with your hands. You could use oil, but I, I will do this. Make it into a little ball, okay? We want that little ball. And we'll put it to rest here so I won't be nasty. So I make the little bowl and I squeeze it. I know a lot of people don't do it like that, but I do do it like this. I'm doing a small one because I know my son likes the small one. So make it very thin and then good. close the door, close the door. And then I'll put a hole through it like this. Why? Because the oil will jump through it and it will cook evenly. Okay, we want it evenly cooked. And then, see, this is a slow motion. You're not going to get burned. You have to do it soft and steady. You don't want it to be super. And I'm going to try it. Mmm, so good. So. Mmm. You want? I never learned how to make arepas, but when I moved with the baby daddy, he really liked it, so I learned. Okay, you could put if it's a little bit dry, you could put a little bit in the masa there, and then just rub it, so you won't have a lot of moist. We don't have that much moist. We don't want that moist. Okay, that harina yes. pan is already fully prepared to be fried and it's perfectly consistency that's what we want that clay and then again you drop so you guys don't have to use this i use this to take it out okay but because i have an extra fork i will use it to flip it okay because if you want to you're afraid you can just move them obviously always dry your utensils your utensils have to be fully dry you don't want moisture on your utensils because then you get burned right nobody wants that so i'm gonna flip it and you don't want to overcrowd the oil because you want the oil to be a certain um temperature i'm gonna put two more so i can show you guys how does it work and oh my god it's so good it smells yummy it doesn't, it's not like, oh my God, this is like the best thing ever. I'm gonna make one so I can sit down with you guys and eat the way you guys know how I eat. And show you how this is good with tuna and stuff. So again, I'm moist. So we are back. I'm gonna have, obviously, clear American or seltzer water with lime. You know, after all that grease that I deep fry, you need that little bit of lime. Okay, so I will eat it like this. I will put some butter, and I use, I can't believe in the butter, original, yes. I used to be used before a long time ago. I used to use vegan butter because I think it's good. Not because it's healthy, because I think it's good. So I put some butter. Oh my God, mm, I know. It's tremendous. It's so good. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Let 
Let me have a drink. Okay, back. So you put a little bit of butter if you want. You don't have to, okay? I'm just showing you the way we eat it, okay? Venezuelans, you know. I know Colombians also eat it like this. But they have different ways. If you guys want to know how Colombia makes arepas, let me know because I could do it. And we put some tuna, the tuna that I made, it's right here. You put it on top, you spread all over the arepa, okay? Everybody says arepa. Everybody say arepa. That cilantro gives it the mmm, that flavor. I do not like tuna, but I'm just doing it because, you guys, I'm showing you the video. Obviously, I'm going to eat it, right? Yes. So maybe I'll like it. Who knows? I know a lot of people die for my tuna. And you put it on top. You can open the arepa, but I like it on top. Say hi to Fuzz. Obviously, he has to come out here and be like, okay, boo. And we bite. Mmm. Mmm. It's perfect. It's crunchy on the outside. Super moist on the inside. Mmm. 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 Even the tuna. Who knew it was so good? So, you guys, try this at home. Let me know what recipes you guys want me to do next time. Mm. Oh my God. So good. Mm. I didn't think it would work, but it worked. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's just amazing. Mmm. Mmm. So fuzzy. It's so good, guys. It's so. Do it exactly the way I did it. You guys do it that way. Send me a video. Send me a picture. Send me something. Oh, so good. Mm. So crunchy. Mm. Perfect. If you guys want me to do more of these videos, comment down below. Let me know, suggest me some videos. Mm. There's a lot of different foods in my country. You guys want me to make some? I'll make them. So good. Sorry, guys. I have to lick my fingers because it's dry. Good. Oh my God. I haven't made an epoch for a very long time. Thank you so much, whoever. They don't want me to say their name. Whoever had the honor to suggest me this video. I never used to make stuff like that. I don't eat like ramen and stuff like that because I really like pasta and stuff like that. But this was a very, very good video for me, reminder and everything. And I don't usually talk about things like this, but you know, the things that are really bad right now. Mm. The kids are dying, the, the mothers are dying, you know, everybody's starving. The government is not doing what they're supposed to do. They lie and stuff like that. And people say, oh, no, that's not happening. It is happening, okay? I know proof, and I I know my family, they're over there, and they're, and they're doctors. You know, they're doctors, they're teachers, they're people that are educated, but educated, you know? 
And some of them, they have to travel, you know, around the world just to find anything. And what they do is they just make arepas. And a lot of people are discriminating them and saying things about them. But guys, they are starving. They are suffering. I don't like to watch stuff like that, but I do know everything. You know, I speak to my aunt, I speak to my cousins. It's just so sad that the government doesn't want to help them. Like, they try to help them, but they want something out of it, and they cannot get rid of that guy. It's just insane. You guys know I am not Catholic or any way so far religious, but I really do want you guys to pray for Venezuela because I know a lot of people are suffering, are dying. Kids, they're dying of hunger, they're dying because there's no food. Right now, everything is so expensive. So I really do appreciate you guys. I need a little bit of prayer and thank you guys so much for watching my videos. And we all are with you, Venezuela. And you know, I don't talk about it that much, but I do miss it, you know? So to all the Venezuela there, please guys be strong. I hope everything is gonna turn out to be like before or even better. So it's just hope. You have to have hope. So thank you for watching my video. You guys know what to do. Remember, comment, like, and share. Don't forget to subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. Share with everybody and all your friends. Remember to add me to this on Facebook, Twitter, and Snapchat. If you want to send me a letter package, I will put my PO box down below. If you want to show me some love and appreciate it, guys, like to my channel. Thank you for super chat. Thank you for posting next to my channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you guys so much for an amazing fans that you guys are. You are my number one support system. I always said it, and it's like you guys made me so happy. So, Kevin, please send me your address so I can send you your gift because I'm so stressed out that it hasn't gotten to you. And, you know, I just can't. So I love you guys so much. Till the next time. Bye, Fatty Squad. How good was that? It was. And stay tuned for the bloopers. Oh my god, they were so good. Hello everybody, welcome back. If you guys are new to my channel, hello, my name is Flaka and welcome to the Flaka Squad. And if you guys are not new to my channel, uh, what is this? Horrible, horrible.